Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Starting in the AL East, the Boston Red Sox got 12 hits in this one as they beat the Blue Jays in Toronto 6-3. Tony Kemp plated five on the day with two big flies, helping the A's to a win over the Twins. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. It's Orioles baseball. And Alex Cobb is ready to go as he'll be on the... Hill for Baltimore. For What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today. They didn't get it done here in front of a big opening day crowd, but they'll look to get back on track here. Yeah, Maddie, I know it's not do or die. It's only game two of the season. But you never want to drop the home opener. And you certainly don't want to find yourselves 0-2 when you leave the ballpark today. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Thoughts? Dan, who stands out? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. He's coming off a big performance. Three home runs. You start trying to figure out how you pitch around him. When you start hitting three home runs in a game, you start getting attention real quick. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Swing and a drive. How to get that one? You'll need a 50-foot ladder to make the catch. A no-doubt home run. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Home run number three here in the early going as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in the series. I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Labor. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Mancini is there. Two down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now, and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone, D. Rowan. He's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar as he lines it out to center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. 
hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. Four. At the plate now, Luke Voigt. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. And he certainly has been no mystery to solve thus far. Sooner or later, they might need to get someone else in there just to get out of the first. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, that it's raining. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made. Standing in, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Orioles. Fouled the away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Grounded up the first baseline. Scooped up. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Batting second. The second baseman. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles' starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matty, if I could tell this lineup one thing, it would be let's get on this guy early. Day game in this ballpark, the sun starts glaring, starts getting later in the day, those shadows start creeping in right around the time that bullpen starts getting warmed up. Got to find a way to scratch a few across early. Good change up there as he no takes ball. command 0-2. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. So it was a strikeout looking there. Ramon Urias becomes out number two this inning. And he takes a cold strike. 0-1. Previous history with Luis Severino. He's batting 500, 6 for 12. He's taken him deep once. A ball and a strike. Mancini. 28 years old, he was an eighth round selection back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the end. Second inning upcoming from Baltimore, but first, here's Heidi Watney with a little bit more on the forecast. Well, Matt, the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather we're experiencing right now is expected to move on as the game progresses. They said they'll put extra effort into keeping the field dry until this rain dies down. But despite it being a little wet at the moment, we should get this one in uninterrupted. Heidi, thanks. And Dero, I'll send this one to you. As an infielder, these are games that can really challenge a player. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And you know, the heavy stuff has finally arrived. This has got to be the hardest rain we've seen all afternoon. Into the corner and slicing foul. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Here it comes. Lifted into center field. Under it is Hayes, and that's the first out of the inning. Now that Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Here's big Aaron Judge. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Lifted in the air to center field. 
Hayes on the run for it. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Next for New York, Torres. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set and the pitch. On the ground to third. Reined in. And he'll tag the runner coming by. At least make him throw it. Leave one. They're up two to nothing. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three yeah. strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. One. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Severino has found success in his career at limiting. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters. And when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. That bomb didn't tie things up, but they're only down one right now and feeling pretty good they can come back. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. As he pops the first Anthony. pitch foul behind the plate. Santander. The wind up, and the 0-1. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. Gone. They've tied the game on back-to-back -back home runs. Austin Hayes the next to bat. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt. In particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Hey, down 0-2. He better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So striding in, Giancarlo Stanton. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. The bat. The third base. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three easy innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here.
Into the box now. Luke Voigt as he chops it on the ground toward the right side. He's got it. And nothing will come with a two-out double as the inning is over. Chris Davis at the plate now as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a cold strike. It's 0-1. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. Lead off man retired now for the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. The wind up and the 0 1. And that changeup makes oh, him jump, a swing and a miss. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Voigt is over now and he's got it for route number two. Coming to the plate now, Ramon Urias. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One, two, three. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gio Urshela. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Urshela. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in, and he's able to drive that for a nice swing. High in the air out to center field. Hayes is right there, one down. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. Here comes the first pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Urshela blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And he's safe at the plate, as it's now a 3-2 ball game. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one-hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Aaron Judge comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Line towards center field. Hayes is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate and he did there to haul it down. Hit hard towards center. That's in there. Base hit. LeMahieu rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily as they extend their lead to two. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. No balls and a strike to count. Fly ball. Not particularly deep. And that's in there. Base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. 
to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. Ball. As he'll take a look at ball one. One ball, no strike. Torres, the runner at third. Stanton at second with two gone. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. One and one, the pitch. Line toward right center. And this ball's going to get down, and it should play to couple. He's in at second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. The third baseman. Miguel. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Popped up. Wins has a play. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the play. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. Ready now for Baltimore. Trey Mancini looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was. Drives it out to deep right center field. Judge looks up into the bleachers and gone. Solo shot to right center. First home run of the campaign for him. And with that, it's now a 6-3 to three ball game. And here's Renato Nunez. No balls and one strike. Fastball called for strike two. Three runs, three hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Man, they really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. And he fouls this one off. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Orioles get one back on the solo home run. We're through four. It's now. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Top to bottom, he said his guys have been picking on the right pitches to swing at, and they've done a nice job of using the whole field. He said that always seems to be a recipe for success, and their seven extra base hits in this one are evidence that it has been. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Now here's the pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. One two swing hard liner to left center that gets down and he's got himself a base hit 
Now, now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he has signaled to the bullpen. That's going to be all for his starter, Alex Cobb. Hit hard on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. To second for one. On to Davis, but too late, and they'll settle for just the one. Now batter. Ready for another shot now. Brett Gardner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. A dive and he knocks it down. But he'll recover to get the force at second. A fantastic play. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. First pitch coming. Here it is. Pitch inside the throw. One ball. Is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Throw won't get him. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 7 to 3 ball game. You know what I like right there, Dan, is the batter's approach. Not trying to do too much, just taking it right back up the chute again, staying within himself, and just knowing that anything to the outfield gets him an RBI. Now that's a good piece of hitting. That's a great point, Gero. I think a lot of times hitters go up there trying to do a little bit too much. Sometimes you just have to go ahead and hit the ball where it's pitched, and a good job, and a run batted in. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in the zone, gets him to hit it on the ground. But obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. And this is going to get down and head for the 333 sign. He pulls into second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Now the 1-0. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. 2-0 count. The pitch is in there for strike one. Before the pitch here, time is asked for and granted by Woody Keller, the home plate umpire. The 2 1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Mancini will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that. Now at the play, Austin Hayes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater up in the zone and then tried to drop the off speed, but he was on. By the way, Mark, that's the oldest trick in the book, right? You use one pitch to set up the other. This guy wasn't having any part of that. Fouled off. Fouled away. And this one's tapped fouled at home plate. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Step on the bag for one. Here's one that you don't see too often, right? Safe at second base, but out at first. Great hustle there from the runner going into second. Really showed off his speed. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And it's fouled away. 
Runner at second here with one man out. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Got to believe you're going to... Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Gary First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that's a base hit right there on a hanging two-strike changeup. And that's one we like to call a hanger right there. You see it high, you let it fly. Nice job by the offensive player. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As he will line this one into right center. And this is going to get down and should be extra bases. Sanchez isn't stopping here he comes to the plate he's in time and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down now batter the first base Luke Boyd stepping in now Luke Boyd and there's a line drive base hit to left field in to score the runner from third Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball, Dero, right there, because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you can tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hit. Gio Urshela checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's 1-0. and Lined hard to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. First pitch of the at bat. For the Orioles. Ah. The Fastball base. on the inner third Ball. taken for a strike. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Hit in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number six. First offering on its way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. You know, you love a guy who attacks the zone, but sometimes I think you could throw too many strikes. That could be the case right here. This offense is going to the plate, just pulling the trigger on everything. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing now strikes, better. but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now in the... So coming to the plate, Brett Gardner. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batter, the second baseman. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. First pitch is a cutter looked at, 0-1. No Movement in the That's Orioles' right. bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and one.
hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Hayes is there, two gone. The right field. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. First pitch on its way, skied into straightaway right. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go. Now here's the pitch. For the Orioles, the Line to the right side. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. First offering on its way. Anthony. Fouled away. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Austin Hayes is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. A ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now as this catches the outer half. And it's fouled away. There's a swing and a high pop up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth. Next will be the designated hitter, Torres. Two hits in four attempts to this point. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. A one count. Here's the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Iglesias to his left. He's there. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Giancarlo Stanton now. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Now that Digging in once Gary. again, Gary Sanchez. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final. Ready now, Austin wins. He'll see what he leading can do off. leading off the home eight. It doesn't the look very promising so okay. far in this one as we move into the later Wait. innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back now into this one. First baseman, Chris. Ball one. The O's find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty V, this, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you That's hit the that. ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, d -row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. Pitch on the way. Popped him up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. The batter number 11. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. Three runs, four hits. And no errors for the Orioles so far. And it's quickly 0-2. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. All set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in and looking for more, Miguel Andujar. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. One ball, no strikes to count.
high and deep to right center. Hayes is there one quick out to start inning number nine. Now batting. At the plate, Luke Voigt. He looked to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series, and he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. And some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hit in the air to center field. Hayes is there now, and he has it two gone. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Stepping in Ramon Urias. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Strike one to start the at bat. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here it comes. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one, and this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. Trey Mancini stands in as he looks at a called strike. A swing and a ground ball to third. On to first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. And he fouls this one off. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Judge is under it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. Nine to three, the final tally here in this one. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Luis Severino gets the win on the mound his first of the year and recording 16 strikeouts along the way. Alex Cobb.